If you are looking to buying a new telescope, then you came across the Nexstar series from Celestron. There is the Nexstar 4SE, 6SE, and 8SE telescope. You might be wondering how exactly are they different from each other? Other than the cost, should you buy a 4SE because it costs less, or should you buy a 6SE which costs a little more than the 4SE and will be better choice, or should you buy 8SE which costs a lot more and gives excellent performance? All of these questions will be answered in this video. So, this series of Celestron telescopes are made for the computerized telescopes. All these telescopes are computerized with go to alt azimuth mount. This means everything from focusing on locking on the star for stargazing is done with the help of a computer. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to navigate through the night sky observing different celestial bodies, then the computerized mount is extremely helpful. All these telescopes come with data of 40,000 celestial objects and with the red dot finder technology of Celestron, you just have to point on three bright objects and it'll focus in that area of the sky. So the main difference with these telescopes is the aperture size. 4SE has a 4 inch aperture, 6SE has a 6 inch aperture, and 8SE has an 8 inch aperture. Well now you might be thinking, is this 2 inch difference of aperture size going to make any difference in your stargazing experience? Absolutely yes. Aperture size is all about collecting most of the light. The bigger the aperture, the clearer and better image you'll get. With 4 inch, you might be able to see the different stars in the particular area in the sky. But the same image has a lot more detail with a 6 inch aperture, with an 8 inch, a lot more. Let's discuss which one you should buy. Anyone who is a beginner and is not sure about pursuing their new hobby of astronomy for the long term should buy 4SC, or it'll be better to go for some cheaper telescopes mentioned in other videos on this channel. 6SE and 8SE are almost similar in terms of optics, but 8SE is far superior to 6SE. It has a 2 inch extra aperture size in 6SE, but because of this 8 inch aperture, 8SE can collect 78% more light than 6SE. That means you'll be able to see distant, fainter celestial objects clearly with 8SE compared to 6SE. They both have a focal ratio of 10, but 6SE has a narrow field of view and high focal ratio which is not quite good for faint distant objects. Intermediate astronomers who just want to upgrade from their old telescope and can't afford the 8SE or on a very tight budget should consider buying 6SE. But if you are an intermediate astronomer, then most likely you are very serious about stargazing and learning about different celestial objects. Then you should go for 8SD, but if budget is a problem, then 6SE will also serve you much better. If you are very serious, passionate about stargazing, or if you are a parent and you just want to gift your child with the best telescope who is interested in stargazing, you should consider buying 8SC. This telescope is not only best for observing stars and planets, but also best for observing deep space objects such as nebula, galaxies, and distant stars. Also, the exposure on the telescope is so great that even if you are a beginner in astrophotography, this telescope will just give you awesome results. So overall, 8SE will give you the best performance for the cost. I know for beginners, if you are sure that you're going to pursue your new astronomy hobby, then you should go for 8SE if you have a budget. This telescope will serve you long term, but if you are even a little bit hesitant about long term pursuing of your new hobby, then go for 4SE or another cheaper telescope mentioned on this channel. Now let's see what you can see through these telescopes. With Celestron Next Star 4SE. You'll be able to see Saturn's rings, Jupiter's bands, stars in the Hercules globular cluster, and different surface features of our moon. With Celestron Next Star 6SE, you'll be able to see craters on the moon with a diameter as small as 1600 meters. You'll be also able to see some of the Saturn's moons and its cloud belts. This telescope will show you Jupiter's moon as well. You can observe the globular star cluster and the details of the distant nebulas. You will be also able to see clouds and dust storms on Mars. Also, you will see some asteroids and stars with a 13.4 magnitude. With Celestron Nexstar 8SE, you'll be able to see everything that you can see with 6SE plus Saturn's rings in more detail, such as Cassini or Enki division on its rings. You'll see Jupiter clouds and the Great Red Spot. You'll also see the Messier 51 Whirlpool Galaxy and many more. So that's it. That's the difference between these three telescopes. I hope this video helped you to make a better buying decision. If it did, then please give thumbs up to this video. If you want a review of any other telescope you have in your mind, then please let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to our channel, guys, for more technology related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.